Detroit made history yesterday. The city filed for the largest municipal bankruptcy ever. Detroit is 18 and a half billion in debt. Can't borrow, can't repay. Here's the question. Will President Obama make any move to bail them out? Representative Bill Heisenger from Michigan, Republican, joins us now. I, I'm taking this as a remote possibility of presidential bailout, but a possibility nonetheless. How do you judge it, Congressman? Yeah, it, it, I mean, it might be a possibility that they attempt to do that. I think there probably will be some people calling for that. Uh, however, I think the likelihood is uh, pretty low. Okay. Now, you, 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 you're in the, Congre in the Detroit area, I believe. You represent the surrounding part of Detroit. Is that correct, sir? Uh, uh, no, actually, I'm on the other side of oh, the sorry. state, about, uh, about uh, two hours away. However, I was in the state legislature for yes. six years uh, yes. and dealt with, uh, dealt with Detroit extensively as chairman of the Commerce Committee. And uh, look, this has been an issue that's been 60 years in the making. This is not something new, and uh, it's time that we deal with it. Who's, to, who's primarily to blame? I, I'm hearing that the unions get a lot of the blame here. So too does the decline of the auto industry. So too does population decline. Where would you put your finger on blame? Yeah, it's all of the above uh, with, uh, with a lot of things that have happened in Detroit. You know, this is a city that at one point was 1.8 million people. It's now 700,000 people. Uh, and you can trace it uh, way, way back. And this, uh, this failure, unfortunately, has a lot of fathers. What does the rest of Michigan think about this? Yeah. I mean, what's well, the that's, a, that's a great question. Yeah, it's, it's a frustration for a lot of the outstate people, and, and I've been trying to make sure that uh, those of us who are not from that direct Detroit area uh, aren't, aren't doing the, see, we told you so. Uh, this is a time to stand with Detroit, but it is a frustration over the years, and I, I'm glad that the governor and the emergency manager are, are moving ahead with this, and uh, it, it really can be viewed as, I think, an opportunity. Uh, you know, the phoenix can rise here. This is a fresh start for Detroit, and I hope uh, the people of Michigan look at it that way, and but the people of Detroit as well. You say you're going to stand with the city of Detroit, but there's no way around it. Creditors to Detroit are going to take a massive loss, and yeah, so are. probably are those 20,000 retirees. Not much you can do about that, is there? Well, it's, you know, the, the important people to think of here, Stuart, are the citizens of Detroit, uh, the surrounding areas as well, and frankly, the citizens of all of Michigan. Uh, again, when I was in the legislature, we would pour millions and millions of dollars into Detroit that, uh, that's trying to resuscitate it, trying to improve it. You know, but when you've got 40% of all the street lights out, you've got 58 minutes for police response, you've got all these other infrastructure things that are uh, that literally have been crumbling over the decades. You've got to go in and fix those things. Yeah. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to take some tough decisions from everybody, the unions, the employees, the, the citizens, and the, and the people of Michigan. Congressman, uh, clearly the, the city's reached the end of the road. It's, it's hit a brick wall. But here's the last question. If you were to vote on a bailout, in D.C., a D.C. bailout. Would you vote for it? Uh, a direct bailout, I, which I don't think is going to be happening, uh, I couldn't go along with that as it's currently structured. However, I think there is a difference between bailing out a state or, uh, or a city like this versus trying to add some help to them. So that might be a possibility of the way that we can structure and, and, and sort of ease the burden that they may have from the federal government. So some help, financial help, is not out of the question. Congressman Bill Heisenga, Republican, Michigan. Thanks for joining us, sir. We appreciate it. Thanks, Stuart. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Another question for the president.